How are we sounding? How are we sounding? How's everybody doing? Welcome back, all of my wastelanders. Another late start today. Apologies. But there's too much going on. There's just too much going on. Right on. Very good. Very good. Very good. Yes, that's true, Zaki, but at least we'll finally have some peace and quiet. What honestly is the price on happiness? What price do you set on happiness? <laughs> oh gosh, guys, I have been a busy little bee the past few days with this channel. Hang on. I'm noticing something. I'm too loud. I don't know why. I mean, it, I don't know. It should be working. It should be fine. Let me know if it's too loud and it starts clipping or sounding bad or something. Anyway, I've been a busy bee. Busy bee the past couple nights for this channel. I have reworked uh, our alerts for today, actually, for Western-themed games. So for this and when we get into Red Dead Redemption, we have some Western-themed, a whole set of Western-themed alerts. Check them out. We have new sound files, new sound clips for you guys to play. Too loud, see if I can bring that down a little bit. Maybe that'll help. New sound clips, you can get the sound clip file by uh, looking at my About tab, there's a link to it. Dean gonna Red Dead Online? Maybe. Apparently Red Dead Online is on sale next week, so I might have to check that out. Might have to check that one out, chat. That'd be pretty cool. And, uh, what else have we done? We have... I spent a bunch of time setting up alerts for Cyberpunk, so we're, we're definitely ready for Cyberpunk now. I got a whole... I got overlays. I mean, we're gonna look like an actual professional streamer channel. For once. News! News of the world? I don't know. I just, uh, I was watching something about the Arizona. There was a hearing in Arizona about the election. And apparently the, Repub I think it's the Republican leader in Arizona's House or their Senate. I'm not sure which one. They said that they had conducted a... Uh, a study with the Dominion machines that were used in, on election day in Arizona and they, they ran a sample size of a hundred ballots and two of those ballots came back as being inserted into the machine as, as for Trump and then they came out of the machine or the data that went into the machine uh, is they had those two of those ballots flipped to Biden and they couldn't explain why and it was in the presence of Dominion employees, and it was in the presence of legal observers. So that's crazy. Um, not that I'm coming down on one side or the other of this thing. I'm just, I'm just reporting the news, and uh, I, I find that to be exceedingly interesting. So apparently Arizona is going to open up some investigations. Yikes! This is big news today. Big, big, big. If that's, if that is ex exactly how I just reported it, then that's big, 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 big news. Big news. Big, 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 big news. Um, that's all the news that I have 
for the greater world, the conspiracy news for New World Next... Uh, what, what was I calling the thing? Our New World News Minute. Uh, you may have remember on the last stream I mentioned that uh, there was a rumor going around that the uh, the whole phrase release the Kraken that's been that's been buzzing in the media recently actually it's not just a fantastical thing but it refers very specifically to an intelligence group in the United States Army apparently a retired general was interviewed alongside the newly released Michael Flynn newly freed Michael Flynn uh, they, they, they went on a uh, radio show and they did a uh, interview and this retired general said he was the guy who um, uh, who said that the uh, server farm that was being used by the CIA in Frankfurt Germany had been attacked and seized by the United States Army uh, specifically the 305th intelligence battalion or something like that and that the Kraken specifically refers to this group this intelligence group and apparently, uh, this general, who was like, they were, he was sitting right beside Michael Flynn in the interview, and he said, "This all, this is how it all went down." And they, the, the army is now in possession of a server that was being used um, to receive and then send back uh, data from swing states during election night here in America. I don't know if that's true or not, but what I do know is that um, the difference between the last stream and this one is that I have actually heard that general in his own words uh, saying that now. The, that, that retired general in his own words, I actually got to hear his actual quote. Where am I getting my news? I get my news from everywhere, dude. I get my news from CNN. I get my news from MSNBC. I get my news from Al Jazeera. I get my news from um, uh, James Corbett of the Corbett Report. Uh, I get my news from Patrick Henningsen of 21st Century Wire. Those, are really, those two are really good, by the way. James Corbett and Patrick Henningsen are fantastic, fantastic independent journalists. No, I don't have any Phil DeFranco. I don't have any Phil DeFranco. Uh, but I, uh, I definitely, I mean, I'm all over the map. I liked, when you do media criticism, when you study media at all you basically you can't just read one article from one website you have to read the same information as it is distributed through the media sphere so you got to read how the right presents it you got to read how the left presents it and usually somewhere in the middle there will be a, some kernel of reality that is shared <laughs> but there may be a small kernel that's what i do in my hobby i'm a streamer for fun, for my actual job, I'm a landscaper, but my my hobby vocation is media criticism, parapolitics, and geopolitics. That's what I do. Frederick, apparently, what was what the what this general was saying was that election data uh, from the swing states, from the Dominion voting machines, were sent overseas in real time to Germany, to Frank, to the server farm in Frankfurt, Germany, and then something was happening, and then information was flowing back, back to the swing states here in America. And uh, as far as this general is talking about, this server farm, that's how the military became aware of it. They were waiting for it. Basically, what the general is suggesting is that there is, on one level, the conflict between the election. Which side won? Who won? I don't know. Right? That's the, that's the one conflict. But what the general was saying, there's actually a larger conflict. He was saying that it's actually the DIA, which is the Defense Intelligence Agency. They're sort of, it's sort of like the intelligence gathering and operations wing of the United States, of the Pentagon, of the military. This, you know, the uh, military branch, right? He's saying that the DIA is at war with the CIA and that Trump and all of his people are allied with the military and the DIA, whereas uh, Barack Obama, Hillary Clinton, Joe Biden, and um, a, lot of, um, uh, a, a lot of others um, on that side are all, they all have the support of the CIA, which is really interesting. So 
And the general was indicating that what what, what happened was that uh, the DIA was aware that the CIA was going to attempt to steal the election because they had they had to do whatever they could to prevent Trump from getting from retaining office. They do whatever they could. And so they turned, they implemented the tools that the CIA normally uses on other countries to disrupt and prevent their democratic processes, turned it inwards on our country. And the DIA was apparently aware of this, and uh, so they were looking for it. So when they saw that information flowing overseas, they hopped into actions and, and they sent a special operations force over there to that server farm to seize servers. Now, what's fascinating about this is that the CIA has denied this, and Germany has also denied this happening. Military has no statement about it. I wouldn't expect, though, that they would uh, come right out and admit one way or the other. You know? Anyway. That's just, that's our, that's your New World News Minute for today. It's just something to keep, a, uh, keep an eye out for, pay attention to, see what further developments come on down the line. Really interesting time to be alive. And with that said, that's right. Calling for my Kraken to come home. And streaming live from another cold, cold night here in the Pacific Northwest, Portland, Oregon. Protest capital of Gitmo Nation. Welcome, everybody. You are in the new normal. And I'm James Dean. Guess what's coming out next week? Cyberpunk! Are you guys ready? I'm ready. Well, that's next week. Today, we're playing some new Vegas. I want to thank everybody for all the love and support for this channel. Thank you very much. QC Man, thank you for the follow between streams. I appreciate you. Congratulations to Faking It With Jason for reaching and exceeding 1,000 followers on last stream. Good job, buddy. Good job. You deserve it. You are really talented. You're entertaining. And you seem like a really genuine nice guy. So I'm really happy to see your success. Also, Lenick. Lenick, congratulations on approaching the threshold of a thousand followers yourself. Another excellent streamer. If you guys do not already follow Lennox or do not already follow Faking It with Jason, consider chucking them a follow. They're really good. They're good dudes, and they're having some nice modicum of success. I hope that we have similar successes planned for us in our future, but we'll see. Only time will tell. Windows is not boosting my music loud. I'm just using ducking. Dude, my stream is Enzu. My stream is permanently demonetized. I don't make any money at all. I don't make any money from the VODs. The only money I make is, is uh, from subs and, and bits and donations. I don't get any monetization options at all. Uh -uh. Nope, 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 nope. All right, let's jump into this game. Why am I so demonetized? Well, I don't know. I could wager, I could hazard a guess, but that's what it would be. It would just be a guess.
We have uh, chat commands, we have sound clips, and we have merch. All links to those things can be found below the broadcast window, if you didn't already know. We have some cool merch. It's not bad. Could change duel to shootout. Yeah, possibly. Hobbs says, what's up, by the way, buddy? Hobbs says, I used to be monetized on YouTube, but that got taken away because they increased the requirements for it and you weren't big enough on the platform. Dude, bummer. I've, I've produced probably, you know, out of the hundreds of hours of content <laughs> that I've already created as a streamer, about 99% of it is demonetized. <laughs> I was talking about it on the last stream. If I played a song for 20 seconds, my entire stream of eight hours can get demonetized by the company. You know what I mean? Scandalous. Fucking scandalous. Give me a second here. I'm going to set my monitor. All right, there we go. Welcome back to the Mohave. You're looking at Russell on your screen here. That's the old Russell. It's our buddy. He's all outfitted. He's looking real good. And of course, this is Sam Bodine. He's wearing his corona mask. He is reasonable. He's a reasonable man. And we are here in the Boulder City Jail. Boulder City Jail, you might be saying to yourself. There is no jail in Boulder City. Well, there is if you play New Vegas Bounties by some guy. Good morning. And that's what we're doing. What can I do for you, young man? No bounty. Okay. New Vegas Bounties 2 is interesting because it uses... It utilizes posters and stuff. Rather than... Um, the, the, the mission system of the first New Vegas Bounty. So we're gonna go and take out Queenie. Not the Brahmin Queenie, mind you, but a different Queenie. I think, unless they're actually having me go kill a Brahmin. It's possible. It's entirely possible. All right, Russ, come on, let's go. Yeah, I made new alerts for New Vegas. I've got um, follow, bits, raids, uh, basically the whole the whole gamut. So what we'll probably do here is not go to the dam, and we'll probably skirt around and go on the south side, come up around that side. Yep, that's the plan. Let's go. Come on, Russ. I had to send Rex home. I've got um, these New Vegas Bounties missions. I have this... Well, hang on here. Let me find it. I have a specific weapon that I'm supposed to use on a lot of these guys. This guy. And it does fatigue damage. So I can knock them out. I can slap a prisoner's collar on them, and then I can get paid extra. You still get paid if you just bring their finger or whatever random body part remains after you're done with them. Yo. Yo, that was awesome. Thank you very much. Thanks very much. What's up, Al? It's good to see you again, man. I haven't seen you in a minute. Welcome back. Little Lee. 
Your boy Al needs some weed. My dog is sick, and now I'm an alcoholic. Oh, God. She ate three packs of cigarettes today. I ate pizza rolls for the first time in almost six years. I don't know what the heck's Al. That whole fucking... Par that whole paragraph is, a, is like a fucking slow motion plane crash. <laughs> Al! Al, get it together, man! Poor dog. I hope your dog's okay. And don't become an alcoholic. It's, it does horrible damage to your organs. <laughs> Take care of yourself, buddy. I want to see you around. <laughs> that poor dog, though. I feel I feel uh, super bad about the dog eating the cigarettes. Why would it... First of all, here's another question I have. Why would a dog eat cigarettes? Does anybody else have dogs? Have pet owners? Is that a thing? I've never heard of that before. Just got the kennel cough. Nasty. I wish I had some advice, but I've I've never been a dog owner. I've always had cats. My roommate uh, had a dog once. Small uh, pug. Pug pit mix. Great dog. A little weird fucking little thing. Dog's gonna be pretty dumb, says Frederick. <laughs> oh. Uh, I hope she, uh, I hope she's okay. I just said my dog Rex in this game back to the base because he, uh, wouldn't pay attention. He kept killing my, kept killing my quarries, kept killing my targets. I need that money. Uh, it's good to be back in the Mojave, though. It's good. Half a bag of cat food. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, wow, dude. A lighter? She ate a lighter? No way. Yo, your dog's, your dog's on a rampage. Your dog crazy. Are you sure your dog is not like a conehead alien or something like that? Just consuming? Just consuming everything around? Are, have you- are you sure your dog is not a black hole? Perhaps you have confused the concepts of dog companion and black hole. He's <laughs> wearing a cone. Oh my god. <laughs> I need some throwing knives. I definitely gotta get some throwing knives. I think that would be great. That should be a priority, actually. Man, so Cyberpunk's coming out. I got all this. I was talking about it earlier. I've set up a bunch of alerts and overlays and stuff like that. I think we're probably going to be introducing a webcam to the channel as well. That's going to be nuts, guys. It's going to be nuts. Feet. Yeah, the webcam will just be Chats aimed at my feet hello, the hello, entire hello, time. Hello, everyone. Yo, what's up, Ramon? How you doing? It's 
What's going on, dude? How you doing today, Ramon? What's new? What's good? Just woke up, about to have breakfast. Nice. Well, good morning to you. We are going to take out a bounty. How about you? Jason? Oh, faking it with Jason. He's uh, he's another streamer I follow. One of my buddies. We raid him. We give him raids and stuff like that. In fact, he's going to be streaming tonight and we'll probably wind up raiding him uh, because he usually goes on uh, right as I'm ending. And he he will be playing New Vegas tonight as well. And he'll have... He'll be playing New Vegas <laughs> with like... With like 50 people watching him. What are these guys shooting at over here, I wonder? As long as it's not a death claw, I don't care. It's a fucking fiend. It's a fiend with a backpack. Let's go take a look at that backpack. What do you got here, buddy? What do you got here, buddy? 30 pounds? I think the one I have is much better already. I have the traveler pack. 50 pounds. You know, this actually really does look like it's in the loca the exact location of Queenie the Brahmin. That would be really weird if my job was to go and assassinate Cook Hook's favorite Brahmin. Which, by the way, I've mentioned it several times, if you didn't know this already. During the job that the NCR gives you to kill... Uh, to kill Cook Hook, you can sneak up towards him and assassinate his favorite Brahmin, Queenie, and it will drive him into a mad rage, and he will he will take out all of the other fiends that are with him. <laughs> it's pretty crazy to watch. Yeah, bounty hunting. Once we do all the bounty hunting missions, we'll be moving on and doing the DLC. And we still have uh, a bit of the a World of Pain stuff to do as well. We haven't even we haven't even really done any of that stuff. I might wait till after the DLC is to do, to do the World of Pain stuff. Gotta be sneaky through here. Well, that doesn't look good. Russell, I'm gonna need you to stay right here. I don't need you killing this dude.
I think this is where we're going. Inside the cavern. Yikes. Let me just go in there and sneak around a little bit. I don't have any throwing knives, so I don't have any silenced weapons. Oh shit, that looks pretty pretty rough down there. I got fiends. I got they're dug in. I saw one. I saw... Oh, okay, there's, there's two. And one of those... Neither of those is our target, so that's good. Take them out. One walking over there, so there's another guard right there. They're talking to each other right now. There's three, three of them, all posted up like that. Not pro. That was pro. Fucking pog, we got him. And now. While they're trying to figure out what the hell even happened. They're going to retreat. Wait to see if they come outside. Nope, we're hidden. Cool. Fucking hanging out with those things in here? Are you kidding me? There's another one. Why are these fucking hanging out with Night Stalkers down here? Whew, that was close. that other Night Stalker go? It's right there. Cloaked. Fudge popped out best popped out fuck brown dickerman. <laughs> that might be our guy. That might be our guy walking around over there. I don't know. Oh, jeez. Oh, my God. What the fuck? What the hell's even going on over here? Look at this guy. He's over here f torching. What is he doing? So that's not our guy who's coming over here right now. That's okay, I can take him out. I don't want to kill our main dude because we get paid. That's how we get paid. Damn, Night Stalker. Got me pretty good. I need to heal my leg.
Whoa! Don't do that. You like the sight of your own blood? You like the sight of your own blood? What's up, up, buddy? What's up? Take those and break them down. Woodka. I feel like I'm playing Stalker. I see Woodka and dead guy. I think Stalker. Uh, by the way, we're going to be playing Stalker again on Saturday. So if you are into Stalker gameplay, well, we're coming back to it. That's what we started with on this channel. This guy I've been traveling with told me to wait in these ruins, so I did, and he ran around the corner. <laughs> Who let the dogs out? That's what I want to know. Who let the dogs out? And why are they so strong? Why haven't they seen me yet? So many questions that will never be answered. Hold on. I have to make sure this guy's still alive. He is. He's back in the back hiding away somewhere. So I'm going to make a save real quick. I'm keep, I keep hitting the mesh of that light rather than the fucking actual... That drives me crazy. It's a stick. And then somehow I was still hit. There's this giant mesh around this stick that I was hitting there. Hate that. I'm gonna make you scream. You're gonna wait. You're gonna what? I don't think so. Yeah, I got your number, buddy. Don't you worry about it. Peekaboo! You ready to die? I mean, kinda. Obviously, I'm right here. What's this fucking guy even doing? Break all these down. Oh, there's that Hydra. Very nice. down there. 
It looks like I'm seeing two more Night Stalkers that are trying to spawn in over there. Yep. Getting closer to our guy, though. Gotta be careful. I don't want to kill him. Doesn't quite look like these guys are my quarry. Shit, man. Bunch of them. Damn it, those things are so powerful. They shake my screen. I can't see anything. And I stay on fire for a long time, so I can't see anything. And you can't stop, drop, and roll. missed the side of his head. What is she doing over there? There's a, bit, a little bit of, like, nav-pathing problems with this mod, it looks like. See? Oh, man, this fucking nav-pathing bullcrap. Look at that. The dog is just fucking teleporting around. I think our guy's up on top of these stairs over here somewhere. I think that's him right there. Or her. Yep. That's Queenie, alright. Okay, let's try to get over there. Fuck keep saying that. I think somebody fell into the map or something. When I find you, I'm going to eat your spoon. You're going to what? You are going to wait a minute. You're going to wait. Hold on a second. What? I have a different plan, actually. It involves a lot more of this. Uh, uh, 
Okay. Okay, so Queenie is not one of the ones that we can interact with and slap a collar on. So I believe Queenie, sadly, has been taken care of. Let's get that finger. I don't know how. She's like inside this block. There we go. Sniper rifle is kind of cool. I'll hang on to that. Yo! Raiders coming in! Everybody get down! Hey, welcome Raiders! Thanks very much! Thanks very much for the raid! Welcome in, everybody! How you doing, Reggie? Nice to see you, mate. Nice to see you. We are playing bounty hunting missions here in New Vegas. Playing Do Vegas Bounties 2 by some guy. I think it's, what is it, some guy 3000 or something like that is his name? And now I'm looking for a key. I hope everyone's having a nice day, nice evening, wherever you, whenever you're at. You were over there playing Metro. I still have yet to make it all the way through Metro Exodus. We'll probably stream that at some point. I had to. I usually leave off of that one. Oh, okay. Hang on. All right, calm down. Everybody, just relax. Whoa! Good nade. Good nade. I'll sell this battle rifle. Not too bad, not too bad. Hey, thanks very much for the follow. Welcome, welcome in. I made the alert box a lot smaller. I hope it's not too small. You have gained the Lord De Hang on, I can do this better. You have gained the Lord Death Perk. Very cool. Okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll kill everything. I don't care. Very nice. What's up, Divergent? How you doing? I appreciate the follow. Welcome to the channel. If uh, you guys came over with Reggie, a lot of you guys are probably Stalker fans as well. I My channel started with Stalker, but I haven't played it all summer long and all autumn, so I'm going to be coming back to that uh, this Saturday. We're going to be playing some more Narodnaya Selyanka. Look at all of the used jet tubes in here. Look at this shit. Serious druggies. Yeah, that's a lot. It's a lot of drogas. And some fucking BBs. Bunch of drugs. It's a BBs. And a frying pan. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so we oh, somebody else is on me. Oh well, yeah, we'll be back to Narodnaya Selyanka over the weekend. There was a recent update to the English translation for it. 
And of course, we're still waiting for the English translation um, for NLC 7 to finish up. Hopefully that'll get finished. This year? I doubt it, though. Probably have to wait until next summer. Or this, this coming summer. We'll see. I don't know. Maybe the, maybe the translators will have a lot more time on their hands over the holiday season. I'm literally teaching myself some Russian so that I can play stalker games. <laughs> I've been teaching myself Russian for like the better part of a year just so I can understand what the fuck people are saying to me in these awesome stalker mods that never get translated into English. Switchblade's usually a good find. I'm almost at max capacity here, so I gotta take it easy. Keep hearing these noises. Making me jump. Oh god, here we go, clinic. What the fuck? My god, guy. What does he have on him? He's just chopping up this guy. What the fuck, dude? You like chopping, huh? You like chopping, huh? You're into that whole chippity chop, chopping, chop, 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 chopping people up thing, huh? Oh. I kind of like doing that too, actually. Hey, we got something in common! Jeez. Places. Fucking whack. No traps? No traps? Twenty stim packs? That's OP, dude. That's way OP in the in this in this mod. That's a little bit of an unbalance, actually, I have to say. I'm playing Jay Sawyer Hardcore mod, um, so finding 20 full, fresh, new stim packs <laughs> just about breaks the mod. All right, this is too heavy to sell. I don't care. Drop it. Not even worth a whole bunch. An untainted water source. Very nice. Let's get a couple extra slurps off there. We'll take the Brahmin steak. Definitely want that. Is that a medics? It is. Very cool. I wasn't able to find a key. I kind of figured I'd be able to find a key for the safe. Maybe it is floating around in here, so I gotta make sure that we've checked all these bodies. Yeah, see, there's still somebody moving around in here. She didn't sound too confident about that. <laughs> she like, she's like, I, 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 I've been waiting for a fight. I mean, are you sure? You don't really have to. We don't have to do this, lady. But all right, have it your way. S 
Stimpak Factory. What the f Okay. this oh they're in here forging huh and then we'll make some let's see here Make some of these two. So we cannot make throwing knives. It does not appear that I can make them. Got a knife spear, though. kind of nice. Weapon repair kit. Very nice find. We'll put that to use right now. Very nice. make another rep weapon repair kit if I can find some, some duct tape in here. Guess not. Okay, that's fine. Open to storage. Locked very hard. So we're not getting in there. But there's got to be a way to get in there. We'll take one more quick cursory look for any keys laying around that I might have missed. Drape razor was stuck in the wall or something? Double check Queenie's body, but uh, I'm pretty sure she didn't have a queen uh, a key on her. Yeah, there's no key in there.
Yeah, I don't see key. All right, that's fine. We're just not going to be able to get in there to storage. Maybe we'll come back if I remember. Wait a minute. I think I actually can get in there. I might have a locksmith's guide. Let's see if I can just uh, read a magazine. Okay, and while I still have that locksmith's reader on, I want to go and try to open up the other one. I think there was another locked door over here. will do nothing of the sort, young man. Weird, they usually follow me out. Where the fuck did they go? They're over there now. When I Not bad. Not bad at all. Bart. That guy was kind of tough, actually. I'm glad he didn't... I'm glad, I'm glad we got the drop on him and it wasn't the other way around. I think there's still somebody moving around out here, though. I think there's only one technician here. I think there was another technician and a whole other guy. I don't know where they are. Not too bad. Yeah, definitely. I want to thank you guys for being here and watching. We, uh, this channel has been really difficult to grow. Very, very difficult to grow. I, uh, when I was doing Stalker, we, we had much better viewer numbers, like, on a regular basis, between, like, 20 and 30. And with all these other games that I'm playing, uh, it seems like I'm lucky if I have 10 people staying to watch, so... Those of you who hang out, thank you very much.
Damn. What the fuck? Fifty stim packs. Holy crap, I have way too much weight. That's insane. I probably won't need any more stim packs for the entire rest of the game. Let's go get these stim packs back to, to our buddy Russell. Oh no! There's a whole crew! There's a whole squad right over there. everybody I said I threw that grenade I blew these guns up so they're probably ruined now oh they're fine but I also don't feel like moving this slow so fuck it man fuck it I just picked something up, but I don't know what it was. Because I have a terrible habit of just pressing E when I come up on a body. And because I have quick loop menu, I wind up fucking taking random things all the time. There we go. I like that hat better. All right, let's get out of here. Get our boy Russ. Hey Russell. Hey Russell. Hey, hey man. Hey. Oh, hey. There you are. What's up, buddy? Hey. What's up? Yeah, you're getting eaten alive by mosquitoes, huh? Well, let's get on rolling, friend. Let's go turn this mission in. I think I'm going the wrong way. Maybe some tunes? Let's see. No, we'll do a radio play instead.
Russell scared the shit out of me just there. I thought he was a fucking enemy. I thought he was a fiend running up on me. I'm gonna make you bleed. <laughs> or whatever dumb shit they say all the time. That's the way. Come here, Russ. I'm gonna What's give you up? some of these stim packs. Sure thing. This land is mine. It's free and clear every inch of it. I have no My doubt My husband it. staked this land 25 years ago. He homesteaded it and raised cattle on it every year till he died. Every year till he died, he raised cattle on this land. I have every respect and for you. And nobody your... takes me off this land, Mr. Williams. You or your filthy railroad or anybody else. My husband left me this land and he said, Libby, this is your land and you keep it. I said, Howard, I swear by everything decent, nobody will ever take this land away from me. A solemn and a holy oath, Mr. Williams, to a dying man. Mrs. Sager, now, listen to me for just a minute. Well, I know what you're going to say. Just a minute. One minute, Mrs. Sager. said it a hundred times if you said it once. Please, Mrs. Sager, just one well, minute. Well, go on, go on, talk then. Talk and get it over with. One minute. One minute. That's right. <clears throat> I uh, represent the railroad. I know that. And we have reserved from the United States government a right-of-way of land across the United States for our railroad, Transcontinental Railroad, Mrs. Sager, Transcontinental. The United States government... United States government, I heard you. What... Uh, what do you want to do? Scare Whoops. me or something? I don't Transcontinental, need that. Transcontinental, it's progress, Mrs. Sager. You can't hold back the time. That's what you always say. You can't hold back Your land. Back the... uh, your land, Mrs. Sager, is directly in the right of way. Now, we're willing, more than willing, we're happy to pay you three times the worth of this land. I said I wouldn't sell, Mr. Williams. How many times I got to repeat it? It's not a matter of... Uh, uh, Mrs. Sager, please, I wish you'd lower that carbine. It's making me nervous. I, I noticed you shaking. <laughs> I noticed you shaking. <laughs> Get it, girl. Okay, god damn it. Progress, Mrs. Sager, for the common good. It's a free country. I can live where I want, and this is where I'm living. And let me tell you something, Mr. Williams. I'm staying right here. You could have orders from the president. I'm just as good a citizen as he is. Now you just scoot off on this property. I'd I'm just as good a citizen as he is. Marshall. Nice. That's interesting. Now, Mrs. Sager, I don't like to I use like that force line. when reason will do. Get off this property, Mr. Williams, or I'm going to remember the United States government has a law about trespassing. Did you hear me? Scoot. You can't hold back the times. That's what I told her, Marshal. She held that rifle on me every second. <laughs> it seems funny to you, I suppose. <laughs> no, I, I... I didn't mean to laugh at you, Mr. Williams, but... Well, Libby Sager's quite a woman. I, I've known her a long time. And you her husband... Anybody could be married to that. Now, what you've got to understand about Libby is, Mr. Williams, that Libby isn't an ordinary woman. That's sure. No, Libby is... Well, she's kind of like the West. I mean by that, 
she's got her ways. And her ways are free. And she's hard to tame. Well, I'll tell you this, Marshal. In the railroad... I'm sorry I'm so quiet around, today, guys. I'm just... I'm fucking... I'm around, tired, man. I'm so tired. Right through it. Uh, yeah, well, I'm not so sure I'd try that with Libby. If I've been uh, I've tried talking putting to in a lot of time, a lot of late-night hours... No moving. Yeah, I know, I know, but you've got to keep Working in mind that Libby's bull crap for the for channel here. A quarter of a century. I've got a job to do. Look, can't you go around her land? Oh, fine, fine. A straight line track for a few hundred miles, then all of a sudden it juts out for a few little acres, and then back to another straight line for another hundred miles. <laughs> I would break it up a little, wouldn't I? Marshal, I want you to get out there with this order. It's an order to vacate. Every time we send her a check, she sends it right back. So here's a check to go with the order. Look, Mr. Williams, she's not going to move. I know that woman, and she's not going to move. That's a United States government order, and you're the United States Marshal. Oh, please, Mr. Williams, don't remind me of my duties. There's some things I don't like about this job. Eviction and seizure. Uh, Chester. Yes, sir, Mr. Dillon? Eviction. Federal order. Libby Sager, yes, sir. <laughs> you weren't listening at the door, were you, Chester? Oh, no, sir. My, absolutely not, Mr. Dillon. Hold on a sec. It's just I am cursed with wonderful ears. <laughs> Comes from so many nights out hunting. Why, my whole family uh, got yeah, ears. Yeah, uh, all right, right. all right, Chester. <laughs> Mr. Dillon, isn't there some way the railroad can go around? Do you guys want to see a webcam, or does it does it not matter? See that woman He's made me a does it not matter for uh, like yeah, New yeah. Vegas or something like that? All right, Mr. Williams, I guess we all feel a little like that right now. Come on, Chester. Now, now, hold it, Libby. Saw you through the curtains. <laughs> well, I saw you peeking. Coward little railroad has to bring the marshal. Uh, Mr. Williams I had to, to, Mrs. Sager. I told you before Hot that... belly little railroad had to get the marshal. Now, Libby. Uh, Libby, I want you to put that carbine down, and I want you to act like a human being. Huh? Don't you start anything with me, that kind of talk. Now, Matt Dillon, I knew you too long for that kind of talk. Libby, what would Howard have said if he could see you standing there holding a carbine on me? You can say what you got to say right here and right now. Just leave my... And the prison is right over here. You think he'd stand in the way of progress, the way you are? Progress? That big, loud, steaming, dirty thing howling by black smoke, bringing in the trash from back east? You call that progress? Uh, I'll make a deal with you, Libby. You put down your gun, and I'll send Mr. Williams and Chester. All right, all right, all right. It's enough of that. I do for you, young man? Well, it happens I, uh, I got a stinky old finger in the pocket. Here, take this. It's gross. Okay. Let me just check the finger. Yeah, here you go. That's hers. You know the fiends had fallen pretty far when they looked to her for leadership. Makes me wonder if the fiends are finally starting to unravel as an organized band of raiders. That's probably just wishful thinking. Good work. What can I do for you, young man? Okay, who's this? Arthur Ribbon. Good money alive? Not good money dead. NCR is offering a bounty of 2,000 caps for the capture of Arthur Ribbon. 
He is wanted for genocide, conspiracy, and other crimes. His current whereabouts are unknown. He is considered... He is to be considered armed and dangerous, and should only be pursued by licensed professionals. Collect the bounty, submit Arthur Ribbon, or proof his death. Yeah, alright. Arthur Ribbon. Oh, here we go. Current whereabouts are unknown. Okay, well, probably just going to have to let him float in the air until we can get a clue on, as to his whereabouts. Camp Forlorn Hope Command Center. I'm trying to think where we can get another bounty mission. I suppose we could try to see if there are any of these bounties at like one of the ranger stations. Short Stick Saloon? I don't even know where that is. Where is that? 188 Trading Post. Okay, we can find this one for sure. Dynamite Danny. Poster location, Good Springs. Gotta go all the way to Good Springs for that poster? Holy crap. Mojave Outpost? Okay. Ranger Station Delta, okay. That's Arthur. Ranger Station Charlie, very nice. Okay. So we'll go to the 188 over here. I'll grab the poster off that wall.
And we'll go up this way here. Check things out. See if we can find some posters up here. Yeah, there's one. Khan's got cornered in the ruins of Boulder City. But the NCR let him go. That's unusual. Last seen near Mountain Shadows Campground. I can't quite remember where that is, but I will take that throwing knife. I've heard that. Was that kill or capture? Yeah, killer, killer capture. All right, cool. Leave units are on the way to support our armies here. Russell, where'd you go? Why don't you hang out for a minute, Russell? Prim has a new sheriff. That should keep the powder gangers away. What's Russell gonna do? He's gonna hang out smoking cigarettes. Alright, that's fine. Hey! Wish the followers would get me some better armor. Well, I mean, you do have that cool cod piece, at least, though. That's pretty rad, Ezekiel. It's not bad. What's up, Chili Croissant? How you doing? Welcome. Uh, you meant to put that in the Discord? <laughs> well, welcome in here. Welcome in. All right. I don't know what we're going to find on the other side of this ridge here, but... Uh... It's guaranteed to be entertaining. And potentially deadly. Our quarry is in this campground somewhere. We're going to do some ranger snipey, sh snipey shit right now. That's probably my guy right there. And along... He's with somebody else, too. Now, we're going to try to capture him first. Sneak attack on Burrow Gang member. That's good. I wonder if that means that is another one right there. Breaking news. <sighs> Carl Wee's a fuck to Coosant. <sighs> All right, we got two members down. Looks like there's a third member right there. I'm going to save so I don't kill the guy that I don't want to kill. Take all of his henchmen out and then go and wail on him until he passes out, and then we can we can get that good money. <laughs> the man is unstoppable. Sam Bodine unstoppable. I think I hit the guy that we were trying not to kill though, so I hope he's still alive it said his head was crippled I don't know if we killed him or not we might have that might be him right there hang on let me get my weapon ready the old bounty hunters bedtime 
Yeah, that's right. Where are you going? He waves his hands in an attempt to surrender. Ah! Ah! Hey, yeah, yeah. What do you want, buddy? Accept surrender. Continue fighting. I will accept your surrender, sir. Job well done. We caught him. Yo, who the fuck are you? Yo, who the fuck are you? Who are you? Who are you? Friend or foe? Friend or foe? What the fuck? What do you need? Nothing from you. Bye. I guess they're non-hostile anymore since we captured their leader. Man, we shredded that gang. That was easy peasy. The next playthrough of the game I'm going to do is not going to be like long distance shooting stuff. We're going to be uh, Legion and we're going to be melee and unarmed. We're going to get right in there. So that's going to be a fun playthrough. It's going to be hella fun. Well, hi, buddy. What do you need? What do you need? Hello? Quite a few of these guys walking around out here. I think it's kind of hilarious that they're just like, what do you need? Instead of just being like, hey, that guy just, just arrested our boss. Get him, guys. What do you need? What do you need? You know what I'm reminded of? I'm reminded of Morrowind, how all of the uh, the Emperor, the Imperial Guards, you get close to them, they say, What say you? What say you? Alright, cool. Let's go turn this in. Let's get that money. <laughs> nice hair. What's up, Zinkles? How you doing? <laughs> what? <laughs> why didn't that text-to-speech work? I don't know why that didn't work. I didn't hear that go off. It's on. It should work. Oh, you did hear it? Okay, maybe I just wasn't paying attention at the time. Alright, cool. Damn, I am tired. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> what game am I even playing? I don't even know where I am. Let's go get Russ. Hi, tired. I'm Dad. Oh, God. Oh, God. Zinkles is here, everybody. <laughs> Who's this guy? Who's this guy? You seen that tower on the strip all lit up? You can see it for miles. Yeah, that's, uh... That's something to think about, I guess. Soon you will feel my true power. <laughs> I've heard the Legion's planning to unleash their best men against us. I think I fixed some of the um, the weird NPC texture bugs that were go that was going on. This guy still has. This guy's for some reason, <laughs> Joshua Graham's headgear is like. In the leveled list, I think one of the clothing mods that I added has his headgear. I gotta figure out which... I gotta figure out where that is and probably just remove it. I'm not a huge fan of it. I think there should only be one dude wandering around the wastes of Utah with his head completely wrapped in bandages. She is really going to town on that whiskey. This guy too. Listen, Russell, we need to get out of here. This place is toxic. Come on, buddy, let's go.
Back to Boulder City to turn this mission in. Get paid. Make them caps. Make them rubles. Feastful of ruble. She's got a ghoulish constitution. <laughs> Wait a minute, am I going the right... Yeah, it's back here. Hey, there's our boy that we were trying to turn in. Hang on, I gotta wait. Hopefully, that means that that guy got back. Yes! Excellent. So, with this mod, when you if you guys ever played New Vegas Bounties 2, if you capture somebody alive, oftentimes, if you do not wait, uh, the character will begin running back across the map to get where it's supposed to go to the Boulder City Jail, but it will often encounter nav-pathing issues or get killed by other NPCs. So, I just remembered, and my recommendation to you is, after you capture somebody alive uh, in New Vegas Bounties 2, wait for one hour, and they will make it back to where they need to go successfully. You won't have any bugs. What can I do for you, young man? Okay, what's the bounty? Those traders at the 188 outpost will be happy to hear that Mr. Burrow is behind bars and awaiting trial back in the core region. I reckon he won't be getting loose anytime soon. Don't spend the reward in one place, kid. Good work. Very nice. Very nice. So we want, to, we want to get another poster, and some of the other places... What was that place called? There's like some fucking saloon that I don't... I've never heard of. I don't know what that saloon is. Camp Forlorn Hope. All right. We can go check that one out. Short Stick Saloon. Where is that? Where is the Short Stick Saloon? I gotta look that up, I guess. I don't know where it is. Just another name for my pants, says Zinkles. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> Walking through Novak. All right, I guess we'll go to Novak. It's been added by this mod, so that's why I don't know where it is. Because I freaking have never been there before. Let's go check it out. I also need to get some, some grenades. I only have a couple stun grenades, and Rex has all of my frag grenades. I sent him back to the Lucky 38. I'm gonna have to go get him. I think there's a grocery store over here. Let's see if I can't get something to eat and drink over here. Here's the big horn grenades. That's cringe. What are you? Some kind of monolith looking ass? Granada. Vrag Manalita. Yaradie. Right 
Rats. Rats off to you. Get him, Russ. Get him. I don't think there's anything good to hear to, to drink in here at all. These rats ate all the food. There's nothing in here. Get out of here. Rats. Rats, Russell. Rats. The fuck? What's wrong, kid? Hi. What's, What's wrong? Up? You okay? I mean, I don't know. You look like, uh, I don't know. You look like you're scared or something. Yeah? What do you want? Well, all right. Good luck to you, kid. Good luck to you, kid. Gotta repair this bad boy soon. We need food, we need grenades, we need throwing knives, we need to repair. Drag Monolita. Vrag, Manolita. Yeah, I want to. I want to go back to now that the weather's cooled down. I kind of want to go back to playing a little bit of Metro Exodus and getting further through that. The game. Is I don't know what what's going on with the optimization of that game, but it it heats up my computer it's like a fucking thermonuclear reaction. So I don't even play. I can't play it in the summer. It gets too hot. I tried playing it over this summer, this spring, and it got so hot on at one point that uh, I fucking bsod'd my computer, crashed the stream, and everything. After that happened, I I went and I, I sprung for a much better CPU cooler. So it probably that probably wouldn't happen again, but man, it was scary at the time. You were back after dealing with breakfast. Nice. Yeah, and you I still have to do Grim Dawn too. I, I recently purchased that and I'm I'm excited to play that one too. We'll be doing that. It's on the schedule. Once we exhaust one game, we'll just uh, re replace it with another one in that slot. It'll be fun. I'm excited for Grim Dawn. I was playing Titan Quest recently in my off time, like off stream. That game is fun as hell. And I heard Grim Dawn's better. Hafter says, "Pretty sure." Dream <laughs> dot or no? Oh 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 oh. Ha <laughs> Slash keys playing Diablo one again. Really nice. Exodus cooked one of my ram sticks when I played through it. Holy crap! Uh, what is? Why is that game so poorly optimized? I don't understand. Why is it? It's so resource intensive. You know, I never played Diablo. I never played Diablo 1. 
I was tell I was over in Six's channel the other day. I was telling him I was thinking about playing it, and he was like, "Man, it's really dated. <laughs> it's really good, but it's really, really dated." I thought that was Snuffles for a minute. I was like, Snuffles, what are you doing down here? You're gonna hurt your leg again if you fall in that acid. Ton of particle effects and real big textures. Hmm. Well, that game is like, I don't know, it's like, it's kind of a game. It's a, it's basically a stress test. It's a PC stress test that also has a game inside of it. It's a PC stress test with a game built onto it. But I do want to at least finish it, you know? I just got out of Caspian. I just went through the first part of Forest. And uh, that's where I left it. So I definitely want to pick it back up again. I just did the lighthouse, basically. The lighthouse uh, with all that crazy action. That's fun. Let me double check that I didn't leave anything in the room here. Nope, we're good. There's supposed to be a bar here, huh? What can I do for you? That Let's see how my radiation is. Not bad at all. I don't see no frickin' bar unless unless that's the bar, unless that's a new building. I don't remember this being here. I think it is new. Roger's repairs. Hello. Who the fuck are you? Well, hello there, stranger. Thanks for stopping by the shop. I'm Alan Rogers, owner and operator. What can I do for you? Hey, you got a nice old man voice, you do? You got any information on Arthur Ribbon? I'm sorry, but that name doesn't ring a bell. Okay, well... What brought you to Novak? It's relatively safe, and I've managed to eke out a living over the years, tinkering and fixing things for traders and travelers. My wife passed a few years ago, and my son was killed fighting those savages at the first battle of the Hoover Dam. That's his picture over on the wall. I tried to dissuade him from joining up. Don't waste good iron for nails or good men for soldiers, I said. He got swept up in it all along with his friends. Now he's gone. And it's just me and Sally, his daughter. And if you're wondering about her mother, it's a dead end. She was a harlot, nothing more. Jesus, I didn't even she ask. Off with some gambler after Brian died. But All right, I TMI, thanks. Having Sally here is a reason to keep getting up and trying in spite of it all. Seeing her smile is all the motivation I need. Sally's deaf, I'm afraid. She's got plenty of brains. I mean, she reads every book I can scrounge up, and she's got a sharp wit to boot. Even though she's a fine lip reader, she'd still be helpless out there in the wasteland at her age. If something happened to me, I just don't know. I've taught her how to hunt, skin animals, and fend for herself, but she's still young. She'd be easy prey for raiders or those scum from Caesar's Legion. They don't have much regard for women, much less those who are impaired. Huh. Tally, are you over here reading in the dark? Yeah, are you over here reading in the dark? It's not good for your eyes, Sally. You need... Turn your lamp on. You have nothing to say, huh? 
That's the uh, young man who's no longer with us. He also has a wart on his ass, Wool. <laughs> hey, I have a wart on my ass. I have a wart on my ass. The thing griefs me to no end. Yo, what's up, old lady G? Hey. How so you doing? You're back. Now, where did we leave off? All right, we gotta find that bar. Hey, what's up, Evan Testa? How you doing? Hey, welcome. Am I good at Caravan? I wouldn't know, because I never play it. <laughs> I wouldn't know. Maybe? <laughs> Probably not, though. Good. Ran out of work at 100 miles an hour. Nice. Top speed. Bar. Where the heck am I supposed to find this bar, dude? Let me get some... Try to look around. Hmm. Well, let's look it up. Let me go back to my phone here. Short Stick Saloon. Where the fuck is it? Uh, it says uh, multiple people have had difficulty finding it. It's not explained. And they say that it's this person found it while walking through Novak. South. South. From Novak. Apparently, the mod author thoroughly hid this bar. It's not easy to find. I think we want to go down this way. Small road. You do caravan for caps, and then hit the casinos and clean them out, and then get the best weapons, and then uninstall because it's so boring being OP. Yeah, I don't like to get super OP that fast. I real I like, I play this game the same way that I play Stalker, and I really like extremely slow progression. Progre when progression is too fast, you grind too hard to become too powerful too quickly, and then the game becomes too easy and therefore too boring. <laughs> and I try to avoid that. Here it is. Guess I would have found it eventually. You know, because it's, it's kind of just sitting here on the road, but... Without any clues as to where to even begin looking for it? That could have taken a long time. Who's this fucking guy? Is this Dick Tracy? What do you need? His name is Dent. Are you like, Har like Harvey Dent? Later. Later. You just said later like a fucking psychopath. Fine. Fine, though. Kikuchi, why are you standing backwards? What can I do for you? 
Uh, what's up? How'd you uh, set up, start up this saloon? What's the story here? There's not much to say. I came into some money, so I fixed up this building and turned it into a saloon. With the caravans and prospectors passing through, I've been able to get a lot of business. As for me, you could say I was a drifter for a while. I'll leave it at that. Some things are better left unsaid. Yeah, I suppose so. See I'll see you later, Kikuchi. Harper's Shack. Where's Harper's Shack? Let's try to find somebody who's, like, kind of close. Yeah, we'll do Harper's Shack. The NCR is offering a bounty of 250 caps for the capture of Bloody Brad Jameson. He's wanted for robbery and other felonies. He was last sighted near Harper's Shack. He is said to be considered armed and dangerous and should only be pursued by armed professionals. Okay. Russell, why don't you come hang out in the bar here for a little while? Russ. What's up? Why don't you just chill for a minute? There we go. All right, buddy. I'll see you in a little while. I don't want him getting in the way and fucking up my shit. Russell doesn't really understand the concept of non-lethal. Not really in his lexicon, so to speak. Guys looking cool AF. Just grab that one because we're passing by here. I think I can get up into the hills over here. Who do we have here? Definitely got to be Vipers. Yep. Oh, yeah. Definitely Vipers. <sighs> How did I miss?
Sick. Nicely, nicely cleared out. Our boy is up here now. This way, actually. What? Oh shit! That's Deadwind Cavern over there, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yikes. That's a place of a big, big yikes. As you approach the shack, you discern the sound of several men engaged in intense argument. After listening for a few ten seconds, you hear one man shout, Where's the Legion gold? We want our cut, goddammit! And then gunfire ensues. Listen, what's going on in here, guys? Who are you guys? Holy crap. No, 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 no. What the fuck, dude? Bounty hunter. Okay, I want to try. Um, I want to try to, see, to go in here and see if I can save that guy. Boy, he had two frags too. Yikes. Okay, let's see if we can save this guy. I want to try it. Okay. You're a bad guy too, huh? You're all bad guys. Alright. All bad guys. Well, I'm gonna use your hat to fix up my hat. How about that? What do you think about that? I'm gonna use your hat fix up my hat. <laughs> Gold. Payday, you've discovered an intriguing note with details on a hidden stash of Legion gold. Perhaps it would behoove you to go and examine this note. Okay. Fix up the old weapon. Grab them two grenades, that makes me happy.
Missiles? Ease, dude. Why is there a toy box here? Why is there a teddy bear here? What's going on that I'm not understanding? Let's read the note. Brad, Fat Charlie told me one word about where the Legion Gold is stashed. Scavenge. I don't know what that lard ass was thinking of, because that didn't tell me shit about where he stashed that gold. For six hours, I worked that bastard, cutting his skin, stabbing his balls with an ice pick. He didn't say anything until I put his head in a workbench vice and squeezed out an eyeball. Jesse and I failed to notice that Charlie had been bleeding out. He managed to cut his wrists while we were working the vice. It's probably Charlie's private little joke on us while he was in his death throes. Regardless, you better pull your shit together, because you haven't made a score in a few weeks, and the boys are apt to get restless if you don't get some income. On top of that, the Legion is bound to be sending men after that lost shipment, and word has it that some regulators have drifted in and are on the prowl. And, uh, oh, and, uh, just to make things more interesting, that bounty hunter from Randall and Associates is now taking on work for the NCR, which means you'll definitely get in his crosshairs. Or was it a her? Uh, if you find the stash, Fisk is gonna set you up for life, guaranteed. He's got the damn key. All he needs is the location, and we get paid. So we need to find a man named Fisk. We need to get that key. So we will be keeping our eyes peeled for a man named Fisk. Hold oh, right shit! There. We've been staking out this place for two days, just waiting for Jameson and his crew to step out Fisk, so yes. we can ambush them. Then our little bounty hunter comes strolling right in as These guys have riot shotguns. They kill each other. Pretty fucking amazing luck, if you ask me. But I don't give two shits about that bounty. Jameson had information on a stash of gold. I want it now. I am not giving the note. But I will say, I will use my speech option. Gentlemen, I only come here for the bounty. I have no interest in other matters. I'd advise you to keep going. For future reference, it's best to stay out of our way, Pilgrim. Evening. Who the fuck are these three guys? Who the fuck are you guys? What do you need? What do you need? What do you need? Why do you all have the same voice? Later. Later. <laughs> Later. Okay, that was fucking extremely weird, but alright. We'll take it. We didn't have to kill three bounty hunters, which is nice, because they all had three... All three of them had riot shotguns, so it put me on the ground. Lickety split! No bones about it. Alright, let's go turn this in. Gonna be evening soon. Start getting darker. 
Depression Games Lounge. Hey, what's up? I didn't see you come in. Sorry about that. Uh, what mods is this is running? You can look up mod list. You can, or not look up. You can type mod list as a chat command. And it'll give you a list of everything that we're running. We have a bunch of mods. And if you want any extra help installing them, you can let me know in the Discord. Come over and join the Discord if you haven't already, chat. Thanks, Ramon. Let's go take a look at another bounty mission right over here. It's bright, bright, bright. Bright sun. That's the guy that we just took out. That's seen near Mole Rat Branch. I don't remember where that is. Oh, it's all the way up there. Holy crap! Okay, we better get moving. Might as well talk to the other, uh, get the other one as well. I'm actually almost closer to Good Springs. We'll go over. We'll go through the pass, which I uh, I can't remember doing in this playthrough, but it looks like I I must have been there at one point. So we'll go up up through the pass, kind of near Deadwind Cavern. We'll try to not attract twelve death claws in the process. We'll see what happens though. Got to make it quick though. It's gonna be night soon. I don't want to be stuck out here near d fucking. Deadwind Cavern at night. Mole people here. We're gonna find us some mole people. The mole people actually are probably in uh, a World of Pain mods, which I have installed as well, so... We go down to the under underground and start looking for some mole people. I still haven't even been to the underground city yet. Uh, in a world of pain. So we still have, like, that whole mod to do. There is so much stuff to see. So much stuff to do and see. We haven't done any of the DLCs yet. I mean, this is content-packed playthrough over here. That is a bright sun. Do I have any sunglasses? Fucking, I don't. But if I did, they would actually be very useful right now. I'm gonna walk right into a death claw with the sun in my eyes like this. Ramon redeemed. Take a drink. Okay. Okay, I will. I'm gonna walk right into a death claw. I can't. I literally can't see anything right now. <laughs> oh god.
Okay, let me get my water here. Thank you. Delicious. Important to stay hydrated. Same goes for you too, chat. Have a drink. Have a sip. I think this... Is this the pass right here? It might be. I don't know. Maybe, actually, I might have missed the pass. It might be over, over more. God, it's so bright. I'll get real close to those death claws right now. In order to answer a question for the bot, you have to type in exclamation point answer and and then your and then your answer. Or else the bot won't recognize it. Where are the death claws? Cuz that's the cavern right there. The pass is up there. Why are there no death claws out here? There were just a minute ago. Or maybe I was a different different entrance I was looking at. Oh, let's be careful. Careful, careful, careful. Alright, we're fine. That's not the pass. Alright, shit. How do I get over to that pass? Not going through there. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. If that's the shack, then the death claws are literally right over here. Maybe below me. I don't I can't remember. Oh crap, this is bad news. Yeah, they're below me right now. Fine, they can stay down there. I'm thirsty and hungry. I have one purified water. That is no good. I need to make some more. Need to start collecting some bottles. Sega. Which company made the original Donkey Kong? The original Donkey Kong? What, what is the original Donkey Kong? I know Donkey Kong Country. Who the fuck are you? Did you do this? Is this your work here? Hey there. The honcho of one of them strip families got killed right in his own casino. <laughs> you know he pissed off the wrong guy. My roommate is doing something with the electricity. He has to turn off the breaker to the to a room that he's doing some work in. That's probably going to result in him accidentally turning off the breaker to the uh, the internet. So I'm gonna say this: if in the next minute the power of this stream dies and cuts out, uh, just you know, it's gonna be back up in a minute or two. It's gonna be right back up. So, I'm not going anywhere. The stream will stay live. It'll just go down. I guess he's uh, painting the bathroom or something like that, and, uh... But, you know, I don't know. So, we're probably gonna get kicked out here. Probably gonna get knocked off.
Oh, that's weird that that played. That shouldn't play. I've got, uh, I've got other alerts. Hang on, let me check out my other alerts. That one shouldn't even be playing right now. Well, let's take a look at that. Thanks for the follow. Dirty garbage eater. Welcome in. Ah, uh, okay, I've got it. Okay, there we go. Pretty useful pass, actually, this Prim Pass area. And we're going to go by Prim, and we're going to check out the ser Sheriff Station there. We can get a couple more bounties. We're going to be the best bounty hunter in the Mohav. Who the fuck is this? Elko Gang. Who the fuck is the Elko gang? Looks like the war is ratcheting up. I hear the NCR is bringing in elite troops. What the hell? They say the Legion's bringing in veterans from out in Arizona. They must be getting ready to attack. Nice view you got here. Yo, gotta head out. See you guys later. All right, Ramon. Hey, thanks for stopping by, dude. Hope you have a great day. Nope, invisible wall. Got to be a way past the invisible wall. That's what this that's what this whole fucking like prim pass thing is about. Okay, not through there. There we go. It looks like there's still an invisible wall here. Oh, there is! What the fuck, dudes? I might not be able to get across over here. Fuck an invisible wall. Seriously. We still have time. We're good. We didn't get any submissions for the art contest for November, which is kind of a bummer, but we have an art contest in the Discord every month, and on the last day of every month, we do a drawing for a gift uh, sub to the channel. So if you guys want to win a gift sub, we'll do a drawing uh, in December, we'll do a drawing right before Christmas, and we'll give somebody a 
sub. And we'll have uh, a couple runners up as well. Nice. Cool. All right, that's good. We have another mission. And uh, now I've got to find some bottles. I wonder if I can find some bottles over here in Prim, just laying on the ground. Oh, like that one. Bet I'll find some bottles in here. Whoa, whoa, jackpot! <laughs> A wooga. <laughs> Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's that's fine. That's plenty. Now, just need to find myself a campfire to craft with, or maybe a grill or something. Probably won't find one here, but now we have the bottles. We'll just stop at the next campfire I find. Nice. Thanks very much for the follow. REQ Rex ZX6. Welcome to the channel. What's up? The guy who was up by Good Springs. Which guy? This guy.
the hell is he doing? He's tweaking out. <laughs> cool Monte thinks. Yeah, it was a bit of work to get them all nice and running and everything, but once we did... It's a lot of fun. I really like the immersion factor of the, the current mod setup we have. I really like that, like, reaching down to grab things. This thing right here, this object interaction. I fucking love that. Love that. I really like the watch and the quick throw dynamics and shit. I'm just missing Fertile Breeder. Oh my god. Yeah, I really like this quick knife. It's hella cool. Uh, weapon checking. Ammo checking. They have jump animation. See if I can make it happen here. So he'll actually put his hands down to catch himself as he hits the ground. It's fucking cool, dudes. What the hell? Hey. Mysterious explosions. Some fucking X-Files shit going on up there. Boy, look at that lighting right now. Holy crap. Campfire over here, though. You'll never marry Gillian Anderson. Why Eva live? <laughs> Hang on a second, chat. Hang on. Chat, look, once again, if the, uh, if the stream goes down, it's because, I don't know, my roommate has decided that he wants to shut off the breaker because he's got to do some electrical work or something like that. So, if the stream goes down, it's going to go right back up again. I love this house. I fucking love this house. Maybe we'll get lucky and the and the uh, the breaker won't knock out power to the entire floor. It's like a it's like a weird power. It's like a split breaker, so there's a chance that it's not even connected to the what we have the router plugged in. Oh my God, Hafter, you have no fucking idea, man. I'm so tired of it. I'm checking, I was recently checking out a different place. I will know whether I'm going to move or not into the, a new place here in like a couple weeks. I'll know for sure in maybe just a, a week or two. You miss the pit boy? I don't, actually. I don't, honestly. Hey, Jason, what's up, dude? Hey, welcome in. 
Right, when I started the stream off today, I, uh, I said congratulations. I mentioned your, um, your recent reaching and surpassing of 1,000 follows. Dude, in a very, very short time. So I'm, I was, like, definitely really proud of you. And I recommended everybody go over there and give you a follow, too. So I will say that same thing again, actually. If you are not already a follower of Jason's channel, get over there and check him out. He plays the same... He will play uh, some New Vegas tonight. And we might actually give him a raid if we have enough people.